hello everyone in this video we're going to learn how to create uhi or urban hate island image and calculate urban hate island index or uhii from satellite image or specifically from the land surface temperature image here you can see that urban heat island is simply the phenomena where some areas of the urban uh, settlement gets much more warmer than the surrounding rural areas with little or less urban struck infrastructures simply uhi indicates the temperature gradient of a certain urban area where that area actually gets much more uh, warmer than the areas with low urban infrastructures and uh, high vegetation simply this is the formula of uhii or urban heat island index where we will need the land surface temperature uh, raster and we have generated or created a LST surface or LST raster in uh, the earlier video. Please check out my channel and the previous video to know how to calculate or how to create the land surface temperature uh, uh, image. And simply we can see that uh, there is also LST M and LST SD. These are actually representing the uh, land surface temperature the mean land surface temperature and the standard deviation of the land surface temperature okay now as uh, you, you have seen that we need the land surface temperature image that we have created in the earlier video i'm simply uh, dragging that result of the earlier video and you can simply uh, see that there are uh, higher and a lower range of temperature shown shown in here and the higher temperatures are actually occupied with urban uh, infrastructures like buildings and roads etc and here you can see that the red uh, areas are actually representing the higher temperatures and the uh, bluish areas are uh, representing the lower temperatures you can see that there is a, a huge temperature gradient among these areas like suddenly because of having an urban infrastructure the temperature of that area got high as urban infrastructures actually traps heat as we know okay to calculate the uhi we have to input the formula that we have learned earlier in that word document and we will need the raster calculator tool to input our formula and create the uhi raster surface or uhi image okay you can see that we also need the land surface temperature mean value and the standard deviation of land surface temperature we will simply go to the properties of our lst image and go to the source of it if we get to the bottom we can see that the minimum value of temperature and the standard deviation is here and we will simply copy and paste those here so that we can easily use this in the formula calculating uhi or creating the uhi raster is very easy simply now we will go to the raster calculator again to make this uha raster surface first of all we need the lst surface then we have to subtract the mean value from here and we'll uh, i'm simply copying it and pasting it here and now we have to divide the whole thing by the standard deviation value
I will copy it from here and paste it there. Do subscribe my channel so that you can get more videos on the topics whenever uploaded. Now simply I will save this USA raster and my formula is correct as there is no warning showing there. I am saving it here with the name of UHIA and after some moments your process will be completed. UHII or UHI index will actually show where the temperature gradient is high and low. The lower index of uh, lower value of UHI index is showing that those areas has less temperature gradients and the high UHI value is showing that these areas has high temperature gradient or high te difference of temperature among these areas. Now we will simply try to create a UHI profile where we will understand actually why it is known as urban heat island where is the this island actually situated this will help us to understand the effect of urban heat island first of all we have to create a shape file anywhere you want you can create it and give it the type of polyline and change its coordinate system to the corresponding coordinate system of your LST or your image. Now I will simply go to the editor toolbar and start editing to draw a small polyline to make a stacked profile of UHI. We have to go to this create features after start editing. We have to select it and after selecting it we simply will create a line here where we can see that there is a gradient of UHI or change of UHI available after creating that we will simply save and stop the editing we can simply make it a little bit wider remember to draw the polyline where there where you will be able to see a temperature change like I have drawn it in the uh, 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 this line where the, it starts and ends in lower UHI index and there is a high UHI index in the middle of it. Now I will simply search for this track for profile tool and in the track profile stack profile tool I will simply input the UHI profile or the line that I've created and in the profile target you have to give the UHI raster that you have created I have mistakenly have given the uh, LST image here you can see that when I'm trying to uh, save this output table here it's showing some warning actually this table will uh, have several uh, important information about the UHI profile that you were uh, about to create simply if you even change uh, the name of the table it still shows the warning sign and actually this the folder that will contain the uh, table must not have any kind of spaces you can see that here is space available in the folder that where this profile will be saved so you have to take a folder which do not have any space in its name so simply I'm uh, taking a random folder where I will s save this UHI table. Actually the uh, main output will be our uh, graph, the UHI graph. And you also can save this UHI table which will acquire several information about, the, about your UHI profile. And remember that now we are saving the UHI the graph UHI graph 
and simply uh, don't forget to give uhi index here i have mistakenly given the lst uh, sir, uh, raster in the profile targets you must have to give the uhi sur surface or uhi raster or uhi image here don't forget to do that now after uh, renaming all this and uh, saving selecting the output file renaming it our process will be completed very soon now here is a very interesting uhi profile you can see and we can see that in the both of the edges have low uhi index and in the middle of them there is a high value of uhi or high value of temperature available this is like an island in the ocean so this is the, that's why this is called the urban heat island and as the urban infrastructures like the roads and the buildings trap heat much more fastly that's why we see this phenomenon of urban heat island and these are the areas with low uhi or low temperatures which actually might have vegetation or water body or these are areas with a very less gray infrastructures or urban heat islands urban heat islands can only be seen mostly on the areas where there is uh, a lot of urban infrastructures simply i'm saving this graph as gif format you can save it as any format you want like you can save it as the image format img format or jpeg format simply i'm saving it in a folder in a random folder uhi actually helps uh, help us to learn about the urban infrastructures effect on local atmosphere okay simply you can see that our uh, uhi graph have been saved in here if you have any question about it please do let me know in the comment box i'll try to answer simply our uhi profile and uhi graph has been created that was all for today thank you for watching the video